Sanger Harris was a department store chain from 1961 to 1987. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. You can always tell a Sanger Harris man. You can always tell a Sanger Harris man. His leisure time is very special to him, so he wears Janssen coordinates of today's Dacron. Janssen has combined Fall's best looking colors, handsome tailoring, and easy care Dacron to give him fashionable yet practical leisure coordinates. Janssen coordinates of today's Dacron for his leisure life. You can always tell a Sanger Harris man. Sanger Harris of Dallas, Texas was a result of a 1961 murder between two companies dating back to the mid-1800s. Sanger Brothers was a pioneer Texas dry goods wholesale and retail firm which was established by Philip, Isaac, Alexander, Elias, and Barbetta Sanger as well as their sons Lehman, Jacob, David, and Sam. In 1857, with the help of his former employer, Isaac opened the Baum and Sanger store in McKinney, Texas, at a time when McKinney had become a market center for fur trappers and ranchers and was larger than Dallas. By the turn of the century, Sanger Brothers would evolve into a mail order as well as a brick and mortar department store. In 1951, Federated Department Stores would acquire the four store Sanger's chain. A. Harris and Company of Dallas was founded in 1887 by Adolph Harris. In 1862, he established a dry goods store in Houston named Harris and Fox. In 1878, the firm was reorganized without Fox. Adolph Harris and his brother Jacob, or Jake, called the company Harris Brothers, occasionally known as A. Harris and Brother. After Jacob died in 1886, Adolph formed a par partnership with the family of his wife, Fanny Grumbach Harris. Adolph had moved to Dallas in 1885. From 1886 to 1892, the firm operated as Felman Grumbach and Harris. The name was changed in 1891 to A. Harris and Company. A. Harris and Company was a well-known successful store. Unfortunately, Adolph died suddenly on February 14, 1912 of a heart attack while on a buying trip to New York City. The Kramer and Harris families, who are in control of the company, were more successful than the Sanger family in keeping family control of the company. The Harris and Kramer families continued to expand A. Harris and Company stores until February of 1961 when the stock was taken over by Federated Department Stores. The two stores were then merged together to create Sanger Harris. At the time, the two stores had two different flagship stores, but in 1965, they built a new flagship store. Sanger Harris opened its first new, ground-up department store in downtown Dallas as its flagship. Designed by Dallas architect Thomas Stanley, the store featured a four-story marble column facade, a trait evocative of the practice's work in retail and corporate applications throughout the late 60s and 70s. Sanger Harris was also known for its mosaic murals. Many of their former locations had them such as the Redbird Mall, Valley View, and Six Flags Mall. The downtown stores were also in two episodes of the hit TV series, Dallas. During the late 70s, the chain dropped the hyphen between Sanger and Harris. The Sanger Harris chain continued as an upper moderate shopping destination. Eight more locations would pop up. Sanger Harris stores were known for their column and mosaic architecture. The first building to feature the white columns and mosaic was at the downtown Dallas store. The Sanger Harris branch stores that were built after 1965 all feature this design. 
Sanger Harris, at the time owned by Federated, decided to drop the Sanger Harris name altogether and instead replace all the Sanger Harris stores with Foley's or close the stores entirely in 1987. So, what were your memories of this store? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.